Okay guys, um, my name is Jello. Um, I'm part of a band called uh, B2M. There's about uh, seven of us in the band. Um, B2M formed back in mid-2004. Um, the reason why we formed a band is because uh, back in 2004 in our home community of New Yu on Bathurst Island, which is the main island um, uh, part of uh, the Tiwis in the Northern Territory. Uh, back in 2004, our community, which has a population about 3,000, now we had the highest suicide rate in the world, uh, which is, you know, very, very, very wrong, you know, very bad at the time. Uh, our elders were having a hard time um, connecting with the young ones, uh, you know, with the New world uh, today, we've got technology, a lot more drug and alcohol abuse happening in our own community. And us being born and bred in communities all our life saw this as a problem. You know, decided to use music as a tool to try and curve and to try and break the cycle. Um, so we started writing music about drug and alcohol abuse, suicide prevention, really putting a message out there connecting to the young ones and uh, the way we the way we did that is we studied on what the young ones uh, uh, at the time were listening to so it was all about uh, pop um, so so pretty much we had to adjust to their ears just so our message got delivered songs based on our community our life our what we see from our eyes and that's been the main driving force behind this band. There's a song uh, that we wrote, it's called uh, Palangari. We call that a story about the dream time and not, not forgetting about why we paint up and, and our body paintings actually mean something. Um, if he gets his tribal body paint, it'll be different compared to mine. There's a song there called uh, Mamanta. It's a story and it's also a message there about the uh, long grasses in town, some of our countrymen. Now, they're not just long grasses, they're not just an uh, alcoholic, yeah, homeless person. They're, they're actually somebody very, very important to our community. We come into town a lot and we see these people. We, we don't disrespect them, we you know, say hello and try and encourage them to get back home and fulfill their cultural responsibilities because they have the knowledge but they're in town drinking because they've got an addiction. It comes down to the community level. Government can't pour a lot of money into funding, into rehabs and all this kind of stuff. If we, if we start by changing ourselves first, then we can change the world slowly. That's what songs we have. And hopefully when people listen to our album, which is going to be released sometime this year, um, they'll get the message in our songs and get what we're about and you know hopefully one day we can change someone's life you know